So you think you got a bricked Android box. I got the X96, which is a part of the S905 chipset. And uh, this one is bricked. I'm going to show you how to fix it. What I think went wrong is the when I for with with this specific box when I erased the bootloader for some reason that caused the brick. I had a uh, X96 box from a different supplier and when I removed the bootloader it worked just fine. I changed the bootloader. So every Android box is different even if it's the exact same model. It depends on who programmed it, which factory. Um, this one has a more finicky bootloader. Uh, so it bricks a lot more easy, a lot easier. Uh, it's very easy to fix. I'm going to show you how to fix it. All right, first things first, you're going to want to open it up. Um, I'd recommend a plastic pry tool because if you use uh, like a, a metal flathead, you might, you might damage the box. I mean, it's plastic. If you don't really care, use whatever you want. But I prefer to use plastic so I don't get a bunch of like nicks and marks around it. So you just want to open it up. Ow. And once you get it open, you're going to want to unscrew. Mine has three screws. One here, here, and here. Just want to unscrew those. Just lift it right out. Now, what you need is a USB male to male cable, and you're going to need the power. So, you plug in the USB first, it should light up, but that's not enough power to power this one completely, so you have to put in the power also all right what we're gonna be doing now is shorting out the NAND chip that's this big chip right here with all the little legs uh, let me zoom in so basically all you're gonna to want to do is press your flathead screwdriver against two pins that will short out the chip usually well, this what works for me is I just short out the first two pins next to the arrow. That'll cause it to um, short out, basically, and it'll become recognized by the computer. Make sure you have the drivers installed from the USB burning tool. I will have a link to the description, a link to the program in the description. So let's short this out. And recognized by the computer, I will see you on the computer alright so when you open up the USB burning tool you it will be in Chinese so what you want to do is click right here change it to English and if you shorted out your NAND chip correctly it should show connect success on your device and now what you're gonna to want to do is load up an image I uh, just click import image. I already imported it, so it's it's in recent files for me. It takes about ten seconds to load up, depending how large the file is. Uh, a lot less, and you might have to play with the settings. I usually use erase flash on force erase all and erase bootloader, but I read some people they had to uncheck erase flash. They had to uncheck erase bootloader. Um, if it doesn't work, it'll just 
give you an error like I'll show you so it'll error out at like anywhere from 1 to 11% um, that just means try a different ROM or try different settings so you just want to click stop and then change the image file luckily with this like you can't I don't think you could brick it any more than it is so you can just keep on trying different settings and keep on trying different ROMs different images until it works so I know this one works I know these settings work so we're just going to oops we're just gonna load that up. Uh, we'll definitely fast forward through this because it takes like two minutes. All right, that took exactly two minutes and eight seconds. Uh, you're just gonna want to plug it into your TV. Hopefully, it boots up. Uh, I hope this worked for you. It worked for me. If it didn't, uh, try keep trying different ROMs. Um, hopefully, you didn't spend too much money on this device. If you can't get it to work, uh, thanks for watching.